Hi dorks, hi dweebs, hi silly people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm grumpy. As many of you know who watch my channel on Twitch, we have some new neighbors and they're very loud. But I wanted to film a video today, so I thought, what if I tell a neighbors from hell story? Cause I have one and it's pretty good. So today we're going to spill the tea. It was the summer of 2017 and I was living at a very crappy apartment complex with my cousin and we had some upstairs neighbors that... <laughs> oh dear, okay. And we had some upstairs neighbors that basically partied every single weekend, sometimes... Good sigh, Maddie. See, Maddie gets it. Yeah, you get it. You remember them, don't you? She liked to bark at our upstairs neighbor's dog and them, whenever they were, you know, being themselves. Anyway, it was the weekend, probably a Saturday night if I'm remembering correctly. And I was busy trying my best to study because I was in college at the time and it was a very stressful time. So I was just like, I need to get some studying done. Next that, I needed to get a lot of studying done. Spoiler alert, that didn't happen. <laughs> also, my cousin was getting up at four o'clock in the morning to get to work at 5.30. So we were both very stressed out. And not only our upstairs neighbors, but our next door neighbors decided it was time to throw a party. It's okay, Maddie. <laughs> Maddie's concerned. So the first party was our next door neighbors and they had brought it out into the parking lot for some reason. And there was a lot of singing, very drunk singing and yelling and loud noises, loud noises. And this was going on for probably about an hour, like not changing in volume, just, it was just still happening after an hour. And I was getting stressed out because I had not one, not two, but three tests that I needed to study for. So <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to get the message across that it needed to stop <laughs> or at least quiet down a little bit, you know what I mean? Cause it was very loud. So I decided to fight fire with fire. I turned on a whole new world from Aladdin and blasted it and started singing along very loudly and obnoxiously with it. Because that's how I do things. And singing also relieves stress, so... After a couple of songs, my neighbors quieted down. I hear a couple of them walking to their building, and I hear my next-door neighbors start going into their building going, Okay, we gotta stop because our neighbors need us to quiet down. Alright, come on, guys. And honestly, props to them, because I could tell that they meant it. They were the ones that stopped. Like, they stopped. My upstairs neighbors, however. Also, I probably should have noted this earlier, but the first party started around 5.30 and then started quieting down around 7, 7.30, something like that. And me and my roommate get about 20 minutes of peace and quiet. But then our upstairs neighbors party started and it was very loud. It was very loud. <laughs> it was so loud that I wanted to rip out my eardrums and feed them to the birds or some shit. I don't know. I just, I didn't want them anymore. Lots of yelling, lots of singing, lots of bad singing. And it was just so much. Now, I didn't wanna be a party pooper. Like, I know that it's healthy to like have parties and have fun with your friends and be loud every once in a while. But the thing is, these neighbors were doing this all the time all the time, every single weekend. And it was always very obnoxious. It always happened very late into the night. <sighs> and I was just not having it. I was just not having it, you know? I needed to study. My roommate needed to get up at four o'clock in the morning. We needed some peace and quiet. We deserve some peace and quiet. So it was around, I'm gonna say 9.30, whenever they were still carrying on. And it had been like an hour of very, very, very loud <sighs> partying. And the thing was, it wasn't even like just loud partying. It was unapologetically loud. That was one of the things that was just pissing me off. Like, whoo! I have to adjust, I have to adjust because I'm getting sweaty and angry. <sighs> I started doing my passive aggressive singing again, blasting loud 
Disney music because like I said, that's how I roll. And they were not, they weren't even responding to it. They were just, it was like they got louder after that. But after a while, honestly, I kind of gave up and I just tried to study as best as I could with all the loudness, all the banging, all of the singing, all of the everything that was coming from our upstairs neighbors. And I wasn't getting any studying done. <laughs> and I really needed to be, because I had three tests. Midnight rolls around and they're still going at it. And I am just sitting there slowly losing my mind. So I decided to give them like a nice little polite beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep. Only it was more like a like tap 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 because I was using I was using the tip of a broom. You know what I mean? I stood on my bed because I'm short, and I just reached up with the broom and went tap 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 tap, and they ignore me. They ignore me completely, and they just keep going. <sighs> they're yelling. They're singing. They're slamming things around. I try again about half an hour later. Tap 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 tap. Please stop it. Please stop it. Tap, 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 tap. It's 1.30 or 2 by this point. And I hear, okay, bye. Bye. Alrighty, it was fun. We'll see you next time. Bye. And I'm hearing doors shutting and I'm hearing what sounds like cars starting. And I'm like, okay, finally, finally, they're done. They've worn themselves out and they finally got the hint. No. 10 minutes later, they start up again. Same volume as before. And I'm just sitting there like seething, just not sure what to do because I am trying to be like, hey, like, please stop or at least quiet down. Like just lowering the volume, even like 10 notches, I would have been fine with that. But no, no, they didn't care. They just cared about themselves. They just cared about themselves. They didn't care about people in the building that needed to sleep or needed to study or needed to do whatever it is. No, they just kept going because they're selfish. Breathe in the good shit, breathe out the bullshit. Anyway, this pattern continues for a while. About every half hour, I do the tap, 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 and they do the, okay, bye, bye, all right, see you next weekend, okay, bye, leaving, and then they're not really leaving. Just, this just keeps going on. And this is going on till about four in the morning, I kid you not. Like, I have never, I have never. At this point, I'm running out of ideas. I'm just like, I just want to study. At this point, I just want to sleep. I didn't know what else to do. My dog was still up and we hadn't really gotten to play a whole lot that day because like I was saying, I had studying to do. And she kept looking at me and I got an idea, an awful idea, a wonderful, awful idea. I turned to Maddie and said, hey, Maddie, do you want to play fetch? And I grabbed Maddie's bay, her favorite toy, and I held it up to the ceiling. And I stood up on my bed, and I held it to the ceiling, and I went. <laughs> I don't even know how many times. I blacked out, honestly. And I hear some disgruntled noises, some groans, some, oh my God, and some slamming around of things. Oh my god, somebody's being loud. I'm such a hypocrite. And the starting of cars. And then, my friends, I hear quiet. I finally hear quiet. And I just feel so petty and accomplished. Anyway, that was the story of my upstairs neighbors from hell. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for breathing with me when I need to breathe. I hope they had some tea, because I feel like you need some tea when you are stressed out. Thank you for coming along this journey with me of Angie, of Ranty, of Angie Ranty. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe if you want. Also, let me know if you have any neighbor horror stories in the comments, because 
maybe I can feel less alone. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.